How's it going, you guys? This is Mr. Anderson, and we're breaking out of this matrix one step at a time. This is a very brief and quick video. It's my scientific challenge to flat earthers. That's right, my scientific challenge to flat earthers. So briefly, just to clarify what I mean by science and the scientific method, most flat earthers, of course, already know this. That's why they're flat earthers, right? So you have to Observe something. You got to ask a question. Who, what, why, when, where, et cetera, et cetera, right? Then you research that topic. Then, of course, you formulate, construct your hypothesis, which is a proposed explanation, right, of a phenomenon. A phenomenon being either natural, social, psychological, or visual. So, preferably using Occam's razor, you develop an explanation and prediction that can be tested, right? An educated death, guess, and a prediction. So if I do this, then this will happen, right? Then you test your experiment with measurements and list of descriptions and your list of step-by-step -step of what you're doing, right? And you need your independent, dependent, and control variable. I'm not going into the depths of this. I'm just briefly hitting on, on science so that we're on the same page. And then of course you analyze your data in an unbiased way and derive a conclusion. Did it match your hypothesis or did it not? Did it partially match it, right? And then you publish your results, okay. So here is the observed social and or psychological phenomena. Now in this challenge, you can make up your own, not make up, but determine your own observation that you wanna use for this experimentation and hypothesis. But this is the example I'm giving. Right, so globe, here it is, the phenomenon that it is observed over and over again. Globe defenders actually think that exercises like Cavendish, like the Cavendish example, I'll say, is science. They're literally manufacturing an experiment and calling it science. They're calling it observable phenomena when they manufactured it in the first place. So. My challenge is using Occam's razor, develop either a social and or psychological explanation and prediction for why globe defenders think stuff like the Cavendish exercise is science, right? And like I said, we can come up, you can come up with a different observation. Maybe it's cognitive dissonance, which it's pretty obvious it's cognitive dissonance, but we can get some real science showing that it's cognitive dissonance. So after you develop your hypothesis, right, test it with an experiment with a controlled, independent, and dependent variable. List your measurements and descriptions, all that stuff. Maybe it can be something like the Pavlov's thing where maybe you get some volunteers who are globe defenders who will get hooked up to their saliva and we can show pictures of the globe and see how they salivate and et cetera, et cetera. I don't even know how it can even be done. I just, and then of course, analyze the data, see if it matches the hypothesis and publish the results. Preferably in a document, maybe showing the document on your YouTube channel. But, and I'm aware cognitive dissonance plays a huge part in it. It goes back to when we're like four or five years old, they smack people over the head with fake science and teach people how to not even see what science is, right? But I'm talking about specifically people who say they're scientific minded. Some of these people will even have degrees, which of course we know means nothing because it depends on how you apply yourself and study your craft, right? So maybe we could use rhetoric such as science denial, right? We could call it science denial and say, why do people deny science even in the face, right? But you have to have a prediction. So this would probably have to be someone like Nathan Oakley or QE or one of these people who have a discord or where they can actually do these experiments, right? So that's about it. I wanted to keep it real short. That's my scientific challenge. I just think it would be really funny, frankly, hilarious, if we had more science showing how people who think they're scientists, right, are suffering from a social or psychological phenomena, it'd be funny if we had more science on them than they do on their own asserted globe theory, 
right? So that's my challenge. Thank you, guys.